Oh yeah, no, that's like in Grand Torino. It's not a really distant star. It's about a third of the way through the movie, I'd say. I really wish Edison made more of their guns, like I guess one made it die cast metal mostly. Although this one had triggered plastic, which sucks, but it's mostly made out of die cast metal. And even more crucially in many ways, that is held together with screws, not rivets and glue. Adhesive, not rivets and adhesive, not rivets and adhesive. That can be taken apart. To be, that can be taken apart for a clean and or repair. Don't spray any springs. Nice. Very, very cool. Yeah, it is too bad that trigger isn't metal. Shit, that's everything. All the internals of this gun and the frame are metal. Well, the grips are plastic, but the trigger is too. And it's got this advancing tab on the top. I'm shocked it hasn't broken already. Otherwise, it's a really solid design. Nasty. We're going to fix that. It's a nice, simple design. The only real flaw is the trigger with this, I think this is an advancer tab for the caps, is plastic. Everything else except the grips is metal. The frame is metal. The hammer is metal. The springs obviously are metal, but this 
as plastic and designed to work for a while and then fail so you buy another one of course this was made in the 80s so it still lasted pretty well and this gun was obviously used so that's all there is to take apart on it and there used to be a red safety tip in the barrel this one it was partially drilled out like this this is how it was when I originally took it apart it's pretty trashed And if you need to, if they're broken, or for whatever reason you want to take these off, you just push this little tab in, and you can take the grips off. Just be careful you don't break the plastic, because it's going to be fairly brittle. Same with the other side. Just so the spring won't fly out. Thank you. 